welcome back to another computer sluggish video. Have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button and click on the bell to get notified when I upload a new video. Also, don't forget to check out my social media channels. In today's video, I will be showing you how to install and set up GeForce Now. This is a fantastic program created by Infidia that will allow you to stream your games to your PC or any other device that support it using their servers, which means basically you use their hardware to stream the game to your computer and they are saying that you will not get any lag in the game and you can play the game on like ultra graphics on a low spec computer which is pretty awesome if we click on join today as you can see we have the free version but you can only play the game for one hour and then it will disconnect you and you will have to go into a queue to be able to join onto the service again or you have this option here the founders which is for £99 a month at the moment and you also get a free 90 day trial. In this video, I will be going with the free membership, but you can choose which membership you would like to join. To start off with then, first you need to press join on either free or the founders, and you will then end up on a page that looks like this. You can now go ahead and sign into your Infidia account, or if you don't have one, then you can go ahead and click on this link here to create an account. I'm now going to go ahead and sign into the Infidia account, once you have signed in, you will now have a screen that looks like this. You can now choose if you'd like to install this on your Windows PC, Mac, Nvidia Shield or a Android phone. In this tutorial, we are going to be installing this onto a Windows PC. You need to go ahead and press download and we can now go ahead and press save file. Once the file has finished downloading, we now need to run the setup file. And you now need to read the terms and conditions and once you are happy you can go ahead and press agree and continue and we can now close down this window. Once GeForce now has loaded this is what you will end up with and straight away as you can see the images haven't loaded yet on my screen but it is early days for GeForce now. I know it has been in beta in the past and these bugs should have been sorted but unfortunately that doesn't seem to be the case right now. To start off with, first you need to press login and you now need to sign into your Infidia account. And once you have signed in, you can now click on find and add your games under my library. And you can now type in a game that you would like to add to GeForce Now that you own or a free to play game. For example, Fortnite. As you can see straight away, Fortnite comes up and I can now press plus library. I can now go ahead and press continue and it will ask me to sign in. You can now see Fortnite is underneath my library. I can now go ahead and press play but before I do this we are now going to click on the settings cog and go through a few settings. We can select our server location at the moment it's set to auto. If you click on the drop down menu you can go ahead and choose your best server location. For example, mine would be in the EU. I'm just going to go ahead and press EU Central 2. You can also press Test Network if you'd like to see how well it will perform. You can also change the streaming quality. At the moment, mine is on Balanced. And as you can see, Balanced will use 10 gig per hour, which is quite a lot of data. You can also click on Data Saver and that will use 4 gig an hour. Competitive, that will use 6 or you can press Custom. And you can choose how good you want the picture to look. As you can see, we have a resolution option. We have a frame rate option, which is currently set to 60. We can also turn on VSync. I'm going to go ahead and change my back to Balanced. You can also choose down the bottom left here if you'd like your network status to show. Now we are going to go back to the main screen by clicking on back. And we're going to go ahead and launch our first game by clicking on play. You now need to press allow and give GeForce Now access through your firewall. And as you can see, because I am using the free membership option, 
I have got a little queue that I need to wait in. There's currently 42 people ahead of me. If you do upgrade, then you will skip this queue. And you now need to go ahead and sign into your Epic Games account. This will then give you access to all your games on your Epic Games account to play in Infidia Play as long as they're supported. And you will also get your game progress in Infidia Play. This is the sort of screen that will be shown as well if you try and play a Steam game, you will have to sign into Steam. And there we go, as you can see the game has launched and I can go ahead and press play. And I'm going to go ahead and press play now and let's see what the gameplay is actually like. Right, as you can see the game has now loaded and it does actually look a little bit blurry I must admit. As you can see in the top left there's a bit of buffering going on there, the text isn't so clear. Um, let's just see what it's going to look like when the bus launches. But I must admit, this is pretty awesome. And this is definitely what the future is going to be like. You will no longer have to buy a really powerful computer. You will just be able to stream your games. And that's pretty awesome. And yeah, as you can see, it's working absolutely well. Very, very good, actually, I must admit. Like I said, the quality could be a bit better, but then that is down to my internet connection. Okay, and as you can see, I have now landed, and the quality isn't the best. It could be better, like I said before, but it's still pretty awesome. If you would like to add a Steam game to your library, then all you need to do is find a game that is supported in GeForce Now that you do have on your Steam library. Click on find your games, find the game, press add, and then when you boot the game, you will be prompted to sign into your Steam account. And then you will be able to play the game. And that is it for this tutorial. I hope this video did help. If it did, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials. Don't forget to check out my social channels.